Maine's Dairy in October 1988. Jaden Lieberher's character Bill Denbra assists Jackson Robert Scott's character Georgie in making a paper sailboat they call the SS. Georgie. Bill is too sick to accompany Georgie, who wants to go outside to sail it in the pouring rain. Georgie leaves to play as the brothers embrace. Georgie navigates his vessel down the road. As he pursues it, he unintentionally collides with tumbles through the floor and lands in the kitchen. He is approached by Bill and Richie through three doorways. They find a headless girl when they enter the first door. Richie is caught inside the second door by a room filled of clown dolls. He notices a casket holding a lifelike replica of himself. Pennywise leaps out as soon as he closes it. He attempts to attack Richie, but Richie flees. After seeing Eddie's broken arm, Eddie's mother prevents the losers from hanging out with him. After Richie claims that their pursuit of Georgie has almost killed them, Bill and Richie start fighting. The other males are too afraid to continue, so the losers split apart. August has come and gone, and the youngsters are still going about their daily lives. Eddie visits the drugstore to pick up his asthma medication, only to learn from Greta, the person who works behind the counter, that they are placebos. Then, she adds the word loser to his arm cast. With his father's gun, Henry is shooting stuff with Vic and Belch. Officer Bowers arrives to remove the rifle from Henry after he commands Belch to bring him a cat to shoot. Then, to humiliate Henry in front of his pals and reveal him as a coward, he shoots the ground around his feet. Henry discovers a red balloon on his mailbox later. A knife that IT sent is within. While his father is sleeping and the TV is on, he enters the house. A woman and her children can be seen on the television, all pleading with Henry to murder his father. He accomplishes this by stabbing him in the neck and allowing him to bleed to death. The children on TV, who are all victims of IT, suddenly begin chanting kill. When Bill visits Bev's home, he discovers her father dead in the toilet with the words you'll die if you try scribbled in blood on the wall. He goes to make amends with his pals to save Bev after realizing she has been abducted by IT. When they first obtain Eddie, his mother restricts him from going and hanging out with his pals, but when he confronts her about the placebos, she is defied. She is abandoned when he joins his pals. The guys visit the Neobolt residence where they discover IT living in a well. They descend a rope, but Mike is attacked by Henry before he can get down. To stop the boys from returning to the top, he begins to pull the rope up. Henry attempts. All the boys move deeper into the well, where they discover its hiding place. He has abducted all the kids, and they are all in some sort of stupor as they float up in the darkness. The boys come across Bev drifting. Ben kisses her to awaken her from the spell as they lower her to the ground. Then Georgie emerges from the shadows, as seen by Bill. Georgie informs Bill that he missed him and had been waiting for him to pick him up. Bill shoots his brother in the head after giving him a hug but realizing it's not Georgie. His body rolls around on the ground till it resembles Pennywise. The kids battle off the clown's attempts to kill them until he has Bill under his control. Pennywise distributes to the others. It is now September. The losers swear a blood oath to return to Derry in 27 years should IT ever return. They hang out for a while until each of them gradually leaves, with only Bill and Bev stay behind. She is going to move to Portland now. As she walks away, Bill runs up to her and kisses her. End of Chapter 1